Ahoy, fellas! I hope y'all have uh, liked the way that I am deciding to name these thus far. I still want to see if I can get there. That... Oh, you know what? That can't be the case. That windmill's gotta already be flowing. Okay. I'm already derailing what I was going to do in this episode. I had told myself, I know, I'm going to actually go after the mushroom spore, but then I remembered, of course, I can't do that. There's, you know, um, a wiggling up somewhere. Oh my gosh, I actually trick. okay. Now I kind of have to, because I actually did get it, but I didn't stay there, because I'm a moron. I thought I didn't get it, so then I did didn't get it. Did actually not get anyways. What else is going on? God. It's it's back to school season, as everybody knows. I um, am, of course, also going back to school. It involves me moving the entirety of everything I own into a freaking apartment. Which isn't actually all that bad. Not as bad as having to help my sister move, which was a lot more boxes, and I had to drive two hours. So it's going to be real nice when I move, and I only have to drive, um, let's see, nine hours to move myself. You know. <laughs> really, all around, my uh, helping my sister move was this, uh, it's like a six-hour trip. It wasn't bad. Um, I keep having to tell myself not to completely just outright say the names of the places that I'm driving, but it was a bit of a trip, you know. Not the worst in the world, but it took a bit of time. Apparently there are ripplings in the cave that I just didn't find, I guess. Wow, okay, that was pretty simple, easy. Down I go, yep. Oh, and of course, a hidden fruit bubble. But yeah, I drove two and a half hours one way to help my sister move. Took, loaded up two entire cars, friggin' heavy boxes, a bunch of garbage, um, you know, drove two and a half hours, as I've already said a couple times. Spent two hours unloading boxes, getting food, because that's what she owed me. And then, of course, coming back, another two and a half hours. I did finally figure out how to use cruise control on a car, which maybe maybe I should have figured out before driving the first two and a half hours, but you know, I'm glad I found out um, before driving nine and well, no, about nine hours. <laughs> because that was not going to be a fun trip on my legs. It isn't. It still isn't. Well, I suppose I can say it in um, past tense now, because I will have moved by then. I will be in a space by the time this episode goes up. Another cool thing about moving is getting all the crap I'm going to need in an apartment. I, didn't, I lived in the dorms last year, so I didn't need any actual apartment stuff, like um, pots and pans and all that jazz, and I plan on actually cooking myself food this time, which was maybe my biggest mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna have to actually cook. I hate this game. There we go. I just want to get as far down as possible. Typically I'm trying to scale this, and now I'm trying to go down. Doing very well for myself. You can tell it's not the right area yet, because it's wet. That's right. I bet you forgot already. We're trying to find a w warm, dry space, which I'm assuming is this area. Well, this is the final boss area. I'm not so sure anymore. Probably this one over here. But, you know, we'll find it, I'm sure. Eventually. If not in this episode, then in the next. And I hate to say that, but I'm actually talking about things this time, so you know. But, yeah. I was looking forward to having a couple new pans, because I don't exactly go shopping for home utilities all that often. I don't plan on it, really, and I don't enjoy shopping more so than some, but, you know, getting new stuff that I need, okay, 
cool, cool, fun stuff. Ah, uh, you know what? Where am I going here? Why am I in here? Yeah, this was a stupid idea. I should have been going just more further down. Yeah, back up I go. Yes. Hey, how you doing? By the way, if you're looking to head up to the village, I recommend keeping left past the Great Ape. Great Ape. Yeah, Barbara is going to sue me. So anyways, luckily I didn't have to pay full price for a bunch of pans. My coworker from work was actually moving. Where nobody's staying in the same place. Um, look, another one of those. Do I have enough? I do! Huh! How about that? We only need two more of these. Wow. Of course, it's going to take a while to actually round up all the wickerlings, but I know exact. Well, not exactly. I at least know now how to get up on the ledges. I'm surprised I hadn't thought of it before to use the slugs, but. Back to my coworker. She had a bunch of pans that she didn't want, so I said, "Okay, well, you can sell them to me." Hey, yeah. So I got like eleven. It, no, it's an eleven-piece set. It's like five pots and three pans with lids. The pots have lids. The pans don't. But some of the pot lids fit on the pans, so you can think about it as the pans having lids. But they, they don't come with the lids. They're not their lids. How do I get over there? Why did I come down here? Okay, this, this works out. But, yeah. Now I have a bunch of pans. I only wanted, like, two, like five maybe. Five would have been nice. But she really wanted to keep all of the pans together, you know, I guess so they wouldn't get lonely. <laughs> Like, you're selling them anyways, just hand them over. The deal for me went from getting, um, I guess an eight-piece set, or no, seven, uh, god, that's an eye. That is unnerving. There's not even, like, a negative force here anymore. Kickback already, like, begged forgiveness. 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 Oh, okay. It's like what just happened here. Oh, okay. I just like what just happened here. But, yeah. I now have 11 pieces. Which is fine. I just don't need a lot of them. If I'm being honest. Oh, wait. This is Screech's lair. This might actually be what I'm looking for. Yet another game with a enemy named Screech? <laughs> I think I'm beginning to see a parallel. How do I get out of here? Do I get out of here? I do! How about that? Alright. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where I am. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Cool. Hey. I guess we're just wickerling hunting today. I know I said I was going to go after the mushroom, but apparently that isn't happening. <laughs> this... This drops me in. Yeah, I don't want to do that, actually. Apparently I'm a big dumb moron, but maybe you would know that by now. So, yeah. Another cool thing about moving is getting my renter's insurance filled out. My mom works in an insurance company, so actually getting the insurance isn't the hard part, but apparently actually getting the insurance is in fact the hard part, because they're still processing it, and I'm supposed to have had it done the day before yesterday. <laughs> so I'm in a bit of a hard spot here. Why am I even doing this? I don't have to do this. I do kind of have to do this. See? We're going back up slowly but surely. Probably. Yeah, see, this is where I came in. Alright. I don't know why I did all this bass backwards. None of this is neither warm nor dry. It's the opposite of dry. 
Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Well, I was spending two and a half hours in the car, I heard on the radio that today, the 18th of August, is a very interesting day for rock. By interesting, I mean very good. Over here. I don't understand how to get anywhere in this game. The, the areas are connected, but not really. But they are. So they take specific ways of getting anywhere. Have I not? Okay. Cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? That, uh, that's a wickerling right there, and I want it. So, I was, uh, supposed to keep one of those slugs. Oh well, I guess I'll get it later. For now, I swear I will actually find a warm, dry place. Anyways. I'll, I'll update y'all again on moving in once I've actually done it. Which will be the next Ori episode, most likely. Until then, I think I'm just going to talk about things. We're about as normal as it gets with me. I can't promise anything more than that. Uh, okay. I'm doing, I'm doing so good at finding water. If this were a survival scenario, I would be winning. But it's not, and I'm losing, so... Yeah. Underdark? Okay. Underdark. Here we go. This should spit me. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Uh, this game's wacky. <laughs> you know what? I have traveled here to the area that I believe to be. Let's uh, just ignore all the water there. I believe the area to be warm and dry. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've done it. I've made it here. And I believe I've actually said all of the things already. I try to lay out in my mind kind of a couple of things that I want to talk about. And I don't know if I really do it. Because I never remember what they were by the time I get done saying a couple of things. Watch this. I hope you weren't looking in all honesty. See, it's bone dry. This is definitely the right place. Okay, let's see if I can do this in one try. Yep, very nice. Is I already here? I know that's exactly what you want to hear every single time I say something like that. So, is I already here? Oh, come on. Okay. It's a wickerling catching episode, just because I can't actually find the, uh... The mushroom patch. So instead I'm catching wickerlings. Sorry, fellas, that's just how it goes. That is wet down there. There may be... The thing about warm, dry places is that there's not... Depending on how strict you are with your definitions, it could be a number of places. I know that's just exactly what you want to hear from me right now, but, you know. I suppose I'll have to look elsewhere and find it later. Maybe up here? Maybe. There isn't exactly a desert area. You know, logic would dictate that there actually is a desert area. So maybe I'll look around and see if I remember there being a desert area. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe. Or, I'm gonna hit you on the head. This is what I forgot about. So remember the 11 pieces of frying pans and stuff. Big set, right? I was able to cram them all in a relatively small duffel bag with only the aid of, like, four towels. And they all fit. And they're not clanging around, and I don't think any of them are going to break. Which is great. I'm very proud of myself. So, ha! Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'm going to hit you with an entire duffel bag full of frying pans. Not just one. <laughs>
Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.